Hello guys, welcome to another episode. Today is April Fool's Day and we are fools for being out here. It got down to 26 degrees last night. But we've had this trip planned for two months. Where we are today is very special. It is a hundred acre private lake. You heard that right. Very private, very secluded. 100 acre lake full of stumps. Check out these stumps over here, guys. We're going after spawning crappie and bass. Look at this 100 acres. It's got a jetty right here. It's got a creek that comes in on the north end. It just goes all as far as up as you can see 100 acres. We got minnows. We got six dozen minnows. We got eight fishing poles with different types of lures on them. We have this place all to ourselves. Basically what this is, is uh, it's a very large landowner and uh, we drive by it all the time. And I decided just, I found out his name and I just, I said, you know what? You're not gonna get a yes by not asking. And I just called the guy on the phone and uh, ended up being real, you know, just very honest with him and just told him I'd like to ask you if I could have permission to come out here and fish and it took me a little while I just talked to him for a long time on the phone and he invited us out here we have the place gated off nobody comes back here it's what it is actually it's for uh, it's a gated thousand acres preserve for deer hunting where the deer are fenced in for a thousand acres he's also got a hundred lakes and ponds uh, it's where people pay to come hunt but I told him I'd be really interested in coming out and fishing that we lived only 20 miles from here and he let us come out so we're here it's 8:30 in the morning we're gonna stay here till dark come along with us this should be a very interesting day the high today is only going to be 55 degrees, unfortunately, but it'll still be a lot of fun. And I expect to do good. We're not putting the canoe in quite yet. We're going to fish with a bobber and minnow over here on this dock. And where'd you go? Oh, okay. I got Got one. I don't think it's a crappie though. It's acting more like a bass. Yeah, bass. All right, my first blood, guys. We have both caught a fish officially in the first five minutes. All right, I got him on the blue ice Bobby Garland. Largemouth bass. There he is. Got him. Please be a crappie. Nope, bass again. All right. We're fishing very shallow water right now, guys. Later on, it's going to get interesting because we're going to be fishing these trees behind us, and I'll clip onto them. There's a cold over there full of trees. My goodness. Overwhelming, it's gonna be hard to fish the entire thing today. I'm draining my battery. Right, you on one? Oh, she's got something nice here, guys. It's not a little one. Yeah, that's a nice bass. He's about two pounds. Oh yeah, I gotta get a good picture of you there. Don't do that. Don't pick fish up like that. Hold him by the lip. 
All right, well, we got the first nice bass in the day. They are not all little in here. They're just a good population. That's what it is. He's two pounds. Can you take it up? He's easily to. Yeah. Yeah, hold him up once. Probably two and a half. That's Yeah, it's about two. One and three quarter actually. Not quite two, but close to two. Down. Up. Right there. Good job, honey. Yeah. lake in the canoe we're heading to this cove because it's the one spot on the lake that is out of the wind so i have a good feeling about it trees over in this cove and it's going to be out of the wind. You're risking getting that in the boat. Really doing that? Oh! Oh god, I got a real bass, Wilma. Like yours. Oh yeah. It's not one of them little one pounders. This is two or three. Oh my. Don't jump. Don't jump. Stay down. Oh, he, he's three. He's three or four. Maybe even five. He's bigger than I thought now. Oh! 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 Whoa! Yeah, oh God, it's a big one. Yep, get the dip net. Oh my God! Oh, he's five. Oh my God, he's bigger than that. Get the net. Oh, oh my God! That's a big one. Oh! He's five. Hey oh yeah, let's move. Let's move. <gasps> oh. oh, oh my God, we gotta weigh him. He might go six. Oh, guys, the elite spinner bait with the wind. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Oh, what a toad. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, I don't think he's that big. No, he's big. He, he could be six. He could be seven. I'm about to find out. Oh my gosh, guys. There's no better brand of spinner base than Elite. Half or three quarter ounce chartreuse white with blood spots on an Akuma 7.6 Ricky Red with a Cast King Speed Dim in reel. Oh my gosh, here. Guys, we're going to get a weight on this fish. Wait a minute. The camera's going to die in about four minutes. So. You're, now, as far away as you are now, you will have to zoom. It's going to be hard for you to set those the problem. Guys, this made my day worth it already. The wind quit blowing. Things are really looking up now. I've never seen a day where the wind is worse in the morning. This is a, I'm going to say he's five and a half, six pounds. What a large uh, mouth. Look at that belly. That's really good. Wowzers.
Now that's what I came after. Let's get a weight on this God, fish, guys. This is crazy good. It's a big girl there. I knew as soon as I set the hook, I said something don't seem the same on this one. It's, I knew right away it was different. Four twelve, four ounces away from five pounds. What? Yep, that's it. Oh my god. Zoom in. It looks like. Can you zoom in on the weight too? It looks like it's bigger than. kind of short, it's just huge because it's pregnant. Oh my god! It's okay. Just calm down, calm down. He will break your line if you're in too big of a hurry. Just keep tension on it like that. Do not let the slack off. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing good. Oh, got it! Oh, hold on! All right, well, we got a four pounder, three and a half. Oh, good job, honey. She got him on the missile shockwave, guys. Yeah, he's about four. Me <laughs> sure is. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait it, wait it. Oh my gosh, guys, check out that bass. Just like mine, pretty much. My God. Whew. He's about four. Wow. Here, I'm gonna let you hold it. I'm gonna zoom in on you. <sighs> Should have anchored while we had a chance. Now we're in the... My God. Make sure you let me get good pictures of you now. All the way into that bank. Yes. Yeah, that's a big one. He's four, four and a half. All right, guys, we both got a trophy bass today for where we live anyway. Down. Lift the tail up some. You got it crooked, the fish. Down. The head down. There you go. Do it diagonal. Like that? With the head like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, straight again. Down. There you go. It's a big one. Wow. To hold him straight up and down like that. straighter you got him kind of lopsided like that and then take your hand off the tail there you go that's a big bass yeah I guess get him in the cooler I'm about to whack some whack some bushes here if I don't watch it Oh, God. Oh! 
Oh, it broke my line. Oh. I am not kidding you. Look, completely broke me off. He was right in front of the sticks. Oh my God. Don't do that. I'm anchored. Or do you got a fish? I just, guys, I just got broke off by a fish. It was a giant, whatever it was. Oh God, I got a big one again, Wilma. This is the bigger than the first one of the day. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I got a giant. He's running me. He's pulling drag. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. A bass. And it's big. It ain't small. Oh, it's because it's wrapped around your line. That's why. Made it feel like it's seven or eight pounds. Yeah, I'm hooked in something besides my own. I'm hooked in your, ah, uh, what happened here? Seriously. Oh my Lord. Good God. I'm gonna lose this fish. There's no hope now. Pretty damn big. <clears throat> you were wrong. That's a big bass. Okay, he's not bigger than my first one. Oh my God, yes it is. Look at its belly. Oh my God. <sighs> Guys, this thing is a, it looks like it fall, swallowed a baseball, doesn't it? Oh my God. Whoa! <laughs> Guys, this fish would only normally usually be about four pounds. I didn't get my, my Look at that! You don't think that's bigger than my first one? He's pregnant. You need to put it back. He's pregnant. It's okay. No, I don't. He's got so many thousands of bass, he wants you to keep them, he told me. Yes, so they don't overpopulate. The bass are overpopulating. Oh my gosh, guys. Here. Yeah, that's... My, my swim bait. Why are you using a swim bait? Oh no, that... Spinner bait. Zoom for this. Guys, this is probably the fattest bass I've ever caught. Oh, you want to zoom? That one is already big. This is the fattest, large. He's only about a three and a half pounder normally. But that thing is, my gosh. You should weigh it. Look at that belly, guys. What a tone. I told you it was a different fish. <laughs> it just takes patience. Can you can you put it back? It's okay. He told me to keep him. He don't want it overpopulated. He's one. <sighs> Lift it up, I guess. He's easily four and a half, five pounds. Oh my God! I. Oh, come on. That is a golden eagle. Now I'm about 80% sure. It's too far. Oh. That was a three or four pounder at least.
to go look at this pond, don't you? No, Just no, no. I no? Want to stay, leave me alone in here. I want to stay here. Okay, I want to look at it just for a minute. I don't know what the water, I guess the spinner bait. Just real quick. It's just right here. guys wow there we go Woo! <laughs> yeah all right <clears throat> there we go he's decent honey honey about a pound and a half That's what I'm talking about, guys. Another two pounder on the Elite. Whew. Heck yeah. Nice chunk. Oh yeah. God oh God oh God yes we got one more oh, oh my god get the net this is the biggest one of the day I think something told me to come over here I told you I told you I told you this is a giant bass guys oh my god now this one is six I think oh my god I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Hey, buddy. Oh. Guys, I just think, I think I just got my personal best bass. Oh my God. He's gotta be seven, don't you think? Oh my god. Oh. If he's seven, ten, he's gonna be my personal best or tied. I mean, my biggest is seven ten. I put my whole fist in his mouth. Look at that. Oh my freaking god. Alright. Just, I just ripped two strands of my spinner bait. <clears throat> Darn. Here, take the camera off my head, get a good video of me, and then I'm gonna weigh it. I'm definitely weighing and measuring this fish. Got it 
hurts for me to even hold it up. Wow. It's got to be at least six. I'm thinking seven, though. Look at that big, fat, female, largemouth, guys. I haven't caught one like this in five years. Six years. That's eight pounds. This is eight pounds. After laying it down, I realize how big it is. 22 inches. Whoa, that's a good sign. Six. 22 inches, guys. Six of five. That thing fought. Did you see how hard he fought? Six even. Sí, I told you. Zoom in on that. I gotta get the picture where it shows the six. Showing the six. See it. I move it. Oh my god. Be careful now. So on the six. Showing it? It is showing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Six pounds, guys. I thought it was bigger than that, but that's what I oh always do. God. All right, let's get a couple more good pictures. One of me holding it up like this. seconds then I'm gonna do diagonal and then I'll do vertical horizontal. Oh. Okay that's enough. Hold it like that. Okay. Okay. Guys, wow. Open the cooler. Oh my god. Make the multi that. You can mount it. No, you can mount it. I won't that. mount them unless there's at least seven or eight. Oh my god! <sighs> Fuck! No, it broke me off! I had him halfway in. I just wasn't telling you I was going to surprise you. It broke my 14 pound line. 14 pound line broke. Oh my god. I'm surprised he hasn't jumped. He'll jump to try to get that out of his mouth. I think he got me hung on that is what happened. It was another six or seven pounder. Oh my God, my amazing spinner bait is gone. That would have been one more for the, for the road. He got me wrapped around something. I was, there he went. That was him. So he's trying to get the spinner bait out of his mouth. Guys, I just lost a giant. I have 14 pound mono for my spinnerbait pole and he snapped it i just caught the six pounder with no problem that had to be a big fish or he had there he went that's him god oh my goodness that's two fish today that broke my line 
the other one was on the missile see he's trying to get what sucks is even if he gets the spinner bait out I won't get it because it don't float you need to put close like that Oh, my arm. Can you open it? Oh. 